Why won't you open for me? Open, sesame. That's just for my... Um, and then, I have after that, I have my... Hi everyone, this is Luisa. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what's on my phone. If I'm not mistaken, I was tagged by Grace to do this video a long time ago. And I know <laughs> it's been such a while, but I only got to film it now because... Back then, I was thinking this is going to be a boring video because I'm not really the type of person who uses her phone a lot. Some of my friends complain that it takes me a while to reply to their messages because I don't really check my phone that often and I don't really download a lot of stuff on my phone. So I didn't think that it was going to be interesting for anyone out there. So I thought maybe I'll just film it at a later time and that later time is right now and excuse my sweatiness I turned off the fan so you can hear me better but oh my gosh bear with me because the real feel today is 35 degrees Celsius so I'm like sweating like crazy so I'm not really sure if this is going to be boring or not but let's just jump right ahead with my phone so you've probably seen my phone on some of my reviews because this is what I use for my check-ins. But my phone is basically just an LG G3. I got it in white and I was supposed to get it in gold but they didn't have a stock of this. I got this from Kim's store so if you guys know anything about Kim's store, it's an online gadget store and this is not sponsored or anything like that but I did get it from them. So I've had this with me for almost a year. I got it around May, I think. And so far, so good. I'm liking this device. I don't feel like I need to change it anytime soon, but I've always been that type of person. I don't really change my devices or the things that I use unless they're really broken. I'm enjoying my phone. Again, this is the LG G3. And now let's jump straight ahead with the phone itself and the accessories. I had to stop filming for a while. It was super hot. I had to turn on the fan because I was sweating like crazy. I'm really sorry about that. But I hope you can still hear me even though there's a little bit of noise here and there. For the accessories, I don't really use any form of accessory for my phone as you can see. But most of the time I have this case right here which is just a regular black case that helps me protect my phone. And this one I just got like in a local boutique store near my place around 5 minutes away from my house. From that same store, I also got another one which I actually am digging but I'm not really sure as to when I should formally start using it. But it just looks like that and it's like a shattered glass design and I kind of like that. Should I use it? Yeah, I'll use it for this video so... This is a case that I like. Okay, so like I said, I don't really use any other accessories for my phone. So let's jump straight ahead with what's on my phone. So I'm actually recording my phone right now. So you can see it right over here. So starting off with my home screen. So as you can see, my theme is just a very simple one. This is actually entitled My Bucket List. I got it from LG Smart World. It just looks really nice. It's just a London kind of theme. I mean, at least I think that's London right there. So now let's move ahead with the widgets and apps that I commonly use. So on my home screen, you can see I have this AccuWeather at the top. Along with the time, I like to see what temperature it is for the day. So right now, it is 29 degrees Celsius or at least two hours ago, it was 29 degrees Celsius. How about we try and turn on the Wi-Fi so we can update. Right now, it is cloudy and sunny at the same time. It is 31 degrees Celsius. But the real feel is 37 degrees, which is probably why I'm sweating like crazy. I'm really sorry about that. So down here, I have a few folders that I created. We're going to be getting into that later on. Let's just focus on the other part of my home screen. This one is LG Health and the Smart Tips thingy that I don't really use. This part is basically just a calendar and my music player, which I also rarely use. And down at the bottom, I have five clickable buttons. So the first one will be phone. And then I also have contacts, 
the menu, messaging, and my camera. And as you can see for my camera, it has like a white border so that when you take your selfies, you're always well lit. Ooh, I'm sweating like crazy. And then you just have the usual, the download button, the home button, the split screen button, and just to close the apps and all that. I'll close it later, don't worry. So let's move on to the folders. The first folder that I have on my phone would have to be the chat folder. So I have KakaoTalk, Viber, Line, and Messenger, which I all use at the same time. I have a friend whom I talk to in Kakao because, well, it's fun to talk in Kakao. You can change the voices and all that, and I just learned from her. And then I have Viber, which is the one that's commonly used by people here in the Philippines, which in my opinion is just a mediocre messenger, but since everyone is using it, I have to have one too. But yeah. And then I have Line, which is something that I use because of my brother. I talk to my brother using the Line Messenger. And then Facebook Messenger. If you have a Facebook account, then you probably need a Facebook Messenger too, which I won't be opening for privacy. And then I have here my social media. First, I have Instagram. Okay, so for my Instagram, if you guys follow me, then you've probably already seen my feed. But if not, then do follow me. My username is the Ana Luisa. And this is not my personal Instagram account. I have a different account for my personal stuff. But if you are into makeup and all that, then I just suggest that you follow this one. You don't need to follow my personal account because I rarely update that anyway. So on this account, I post mainly makeup stuff and skincare stuff, you know, the usual. There's Twitter, but I rarely use it. So again, there's really no point in following me on my personal Twitter. I do have a Twitter account that's connected to my YouTube account, which is at lots of girl stuff so if you guys want to follow me there you can so that you will get notified every time i upload a new video yeah aside from twitter i also have my youtube app and of course on youtube it, i just use it to like watch videos of other people and monitor my own videos and reply to some of your comments and all that Next would have to be my Facebook Pages Manager. I do have a Facebook page if you guys haven't liked it yet. It is Ana Luisa Vlogs. So just make sure to like that. I do post updates on what videos I have uploaded and I sometimes cross post between my Instagram to this Facebook page right here. So yeah, it might be nice to like this Facebook page as well. Also, you can easily message me here. I check it every single day so I can respond to your messages as quick as I can. And then, of course, I have my personal Facebook, which, again, I won't be opening because, well, this is my personal Facebook. And I don't really feel like you guys should follow me there because, again, I don't really update my personal Facebook account that much. I'm more active with my social accounts, if you get what I mean. The next folder would have to be the Geek folder, as you can see. And I have Mangania. Animania, Dramania, and Toonmania, it pretty much similarly functions. It's just that the, the content is different, but it's made by the same developers. You cannot find these apps on the Play Store, so you have to um, search for it on Google. Um, you will see these apps. So first, let's try Animania. As you guys can probably guess, Animania is basically an anime app. If you don't want to watch a specific um, episode of an anime, then you can do it here. And you can even use an external video player to play them or use the video player that's built in with the app itself. And you can also download it if you want. You can browse, you, you can add like animes in your favorites folders and all that. Next would have to be Mangania. And yeah, this is basically just an app so that you can see all of the animes that you like to read. So far, I only have one in my favorites folder. The next app in this folder would be Dramania. So just like the anime app, this just contains a lot of dramas. So you can also put in any drama that you want in this folder. Lastly, there's Toon Mania, which I have to update. So 
yeah, I'll update that later. I don't have time to update right now. I don't think these apps are available for Apple devices, so these must be downloaded in an Android device. Um, so yeah, if you're an Apple user, you can still try searching for it. So now let's get into the main apps. Let's start with the first page. The first page actually contains some of the apps that are built into this phone. So as you can see, I just have their messaging phone, Play Store, and then Office. The Office folder pretty much just contains everything that's already built into this phone, except for my calendar right here. I won't be opening it for privacy reasons, but I basically use it to keep track on my period because I do have irregular periods and it's really hard for me to recall the dates, especially when I do go for a physician checkup. Uh, they sometimes ask for those kind of things, so it comes in handy. And then I have quick memo right there. And then once again, I have camera, cell broadcast, Chrome, which I sometimes use to browse the internet, and then some Google apps that I've never tried before. And then contacts, downloads, FM radio, which I have actually used once, and I'm proud of it. And then there's gallery, which pretty much contains all of my photos and videos and then there's internet again I don't use that to browse or anything like that maps which I probably have used once since I got it and then McAfee security I don't really know how to pronounce that but yeah it comes built in with this phone and then there's music and as you guys can probably tell I do listen to a lot of K-pop music because that's just the kind of person that I am uh-huh and then there's this remote or remote folder and I don't really use it and then settings. On the next page, we have the update center, voice mate, voice recorder, I haven't used that yet, weather and then again the chat folder which I showed you before. It just contains pretty much the same apps inside and then social media and I don't know if you guys have noticed but I don't have Snapchat. I'm still contemplating on whether I should get Snapchat or not. Um, you guys let me know if it's fun to have a Snapchat or if I should make one. And then there's media, which just basically contains some of my video and music apps. So first there's MX Player, and it just is the best um, video player. And then there's uTorrent, which I probably used once or twice to download some stuff over the internet. And then I have Spotify. So for my Spotify, I don't know, I sometimes use this, I sometimes don't. When I take my shower, I do listen to Spotify a lot. And then the next folder would be utilities and I just have here flashlight, which I just used for a concert, specifically the Big Bang concert because it's a part of a fan project. There's this one song that Big Bang is going to sing and we're supposed to turn on our flashlight so that instead of the usual yellow light stick lights that we have, it's going to be all white. I decided to keep it because it comes in handy whenever I drop something underneath my bed. And then there's the RAR app, which I basically just use to extract files that I've downloaded on the internet. And then there's the editor app. So there's PixArt, which I used to use a lot to like edit my photos but I don't use it that much anymore and then I have Viva Video which is basically just a video editing app and you can use it to capture, edit and do whatever on your videos. I've used it maybe twice to post some videos on my Instagram account. And then I have the AZ screen recorder which I'm not going to be tapping because it will stop recording my screen. That's what I'm using to capture my screen right now. And then I have Airbrush. This is the current photo editor that I'm using right now and I like it because of this whiten tool which I can use to brighten any areas that's supposed to be white. So as you can see, that's the before and after. Aside from that, it also contains a lot of filters to choose from, as you can see. And the current one that I'm loving is cotton. And again, you can see the before and after like so. And then next to the editor folder, I have my dictionaries. And I just have drug dictionaries and an English dictionary because 
I need it for work. I work as a nurse and the English dictionary. That's just something personal. I like to search for unfamiliar words on my phone. And then after that, I have my games folder. And on my games, I have the hardest game ever and Daddy was a thief, which I play with when there's no internet connection. But the, if there's any internet connection, I probably would be playing Clash of Clans or Clash Royale. So I'll be placing somewhere in the video the clan that I'm in right now. If you guys want to join the clan that I'm in, yeah, it's there. And then again, I have the Geek folder, which I've already shown you earlier. The Sim Toolkit, Street View, and then Shopee PH, which I actually downloaded to shop in, but I've never actually used it yet. So yeah, that is actually it. So I don't know if you found this video interesting. I hope you did. So please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so that other people can see this video as well. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and comment down below for any comments, questions, suggestions, or requests because I love hearing from you guys. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Annyeong!